Downtown Green Bay has come a long way in the last few years, at least on the east side of the river. There's a new children's museum, restaurant, and boardwalk, but on the west side of the Fox River, there are still coal piles. Tonight, Fox 11 is on special assignment, looking at whatever happened to the plans to relocate the coal, and Robert Hornacek is here with a preview. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Rachel. You know, those coal piles have been on the west side of the Fox River for more than 100 years, certainly longer than we've been here, longer than Channel 11's been here, and for about half that time, about 50 years or so, the city's been talking about trying to find a better location for the coal piles. Now, the talk about moving the coal piles really heated up about 10 years ago. Back in 2003, the mayor talked about a plan to move the coal closer to the mouth of the river. There was a study done that identified a couple possible sites, but the price tag was pretty high, about $29 million. So nine years later, here we are, coal piles are still there and the city is no closer to getting them moved. I sat down with the mayor to talk about the lack of progress, and he insists the project is still a priority. Was it all just wishful thinking that the coal piles would be moved, or is it really a possibility that they will be moved? It, I, I'm telling you, there's, it is really a possibility that those coal piles get relocated and that piece of property gets redeveloped where the coal piles sit. Um, it, it is. It's just, I, I know it's uh, a long process, it's, but it takes years to get things done. I mean, look at the rest of the city. These things take a lot of time and this is a tough one. Now coming up tonight on Fox 11 News at 9, we'll go into more details about the plans to move the coal piles and we'll also find out what some people who live near them have to say about all of the delays. Sounds like a lot of money. Is it just a matter of money? You know, money is one of the big issues, but it's certainly not the only issue. One question is, of course, where do you come up with $29 million? But there's also an issue of where to put the coal. Right now, the Sea Rice Coal Company has about 1,400 feet of dock wall along the Fox River and about 40 acres of property, and there's really not a lot of options along the river where you can find that much property. Mm -hmm. So it's really twofold. There's also there's the, the high cost, and there's also a question of where can we put it? Location. Yeah. And what about the neighbors? I mean, what are they saying about it, and how does it affect them? Well, as you can imagine, there's a lot of frustration from people who live around the properties because they say, we get coal dust on our house, we get it in our house sometimes, and they say, we've been promised for years from the city that this project would move forward, that this would happen, and quite frankly, the neighbors I spoke with, on camera, off camera, they're tired of it. Mm -hmm. and we're going to hear from some of them tonight. All right, we'll look for your full report tonight, Robert, uh, on special assignment tonight on Fox 11 News at 9. And we'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.